Why, hello, my name is Simo. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for like clicking to watch this video. So like I've been saying on my channel recently, I've just decided that things that I wanna do on here are things that I find fun. And something I used to do a lot when I was younger was like customize my clothes. I think I used to say I would make my own clothes, which is a total exaggeration. I would basically just like dye my clothes, cut up my clothes, cover them in rhinestones, like just really fun things like that, which is so super fun to do. 10 out of 10 would recommend, but it wasn't really making my own clothes. So yeah, I just thought I would do that because I'm trying to be, with my clothing options and choices, I try to be a little bit more environmentally conscious and basically clothes that I have in my wardrobe, I try and keep them as long as possible. And there's lots of really, really simple ways that you can expand the life of clothes in your wardrobe without just having to buy new things. So up first we have the machine wash dye. Now this is arguably the easiest thing that I did on this list. So I had Ralph Lauren jeans, a Nike gym top, and then this kind of floral print like work dress. Um, I used to work to work a lot, but it's just as a dress. And basically all of the black elements of those started to fade. So a really easy thing that you can do is buy some black wash machine dye and make them not faded. I feel like I'm overcomplicating this, but it was so easy to do. Basically follow the instructions on the tab, you peel off all the packaging, put the thing in the wash, like the dye in the washing machine with the things you want dyed, and then you put it on for like a full cotton cycle. My full cotton cycle took like two hours, so it was quite, quite a task. And then what you do is you put it on for a wash again to make sure all the dye's out of it. And then you have these brand new looking black clothes. Now, there was two semi fails of this one. So the florally dress, I really wasn't sure how that was gonna work out because what I thought might happen is that the pattern would stay, but the red and the yellow and the white, so I thought the white might go gray, the red might go like a kind of dark browny color and the yellow, I was like, don't know, but I basically just wanted the black to look darker. But what ended up happening is the whole pattern just went to fuck, it disappeared. But I actually like it, it turned out super cute and I'm like, oh nice little, and I would wear it to work. So I'm like, okay, now I can just wear it with colorful accessories as opposed to the dress being colorful. So yeah, that turned out great. Ralph Lauren jeans turned out stunning. Really, really good, because those are such good quality jeans. I'll, like. This makes me sound bougie as fuck, but I love Ralph Lauren jeans. I got them when I used to work for Ralph Lauren and that was years ago and they are still great. And even though I have said that they faded, not like that much. I mean, I worked for Ralph Lauren four or five years ago. What's, what is time? But anyway, and the semi fail is the Nike top. So yes, the fabric is beautiful and black, but it also dyed the white a weird tea burnt orange colour. So like, it doesn't look terrible. It just wasn't what I was expecting. It was a bit weird. Hello, so sorry for the abrupt ending here. So this was originally meant to be a like one really long video where I show you three different ways that you can, I don't know, update and revitalize your wardrobe kind of thing. But a lot of my YouTube videos have been really long lately. I thought I would try making them a little bit shorter. So this is part one and there will be a part two and a part three, but because the original video was recorded to be one big giant video, um, there's a bit of an abrupt ending. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Okay, bye. bye.